are you thinking about reading Thrive by Arianna Huffington and want to find out a bit more about it before you buy a copy for yourself? Well, check out this video. Hey, it's Sherelle from Propel Her, the place for unashamedly ambitious women who want to achieve more success in their life. This month in Propel Her's book club, we read Thrive by Arianna Huffington. Arianna Huffington is most known for being the co-founder and editor-in-chief of Huffington Post. And right at the beginning of the book, she explains that while she was building the empire that Huffington Post has become today, she woke up on the floor in a pool of blood, having ex collapsed from exhaustion and cracked her head on the corner of her desk. It was at this moment that she realized there has to be more than success. So today, success in the professional environment has mainly been around money and power and through this book Ariana says that this is just not sustainable anymore and that we need to find a third metric to go alongside those two and in her opinion the third metric would be a combination of well-being wisdom wonder and giving and there are four main chapters in the book which go through those four areas so I'm just going to give you a brief overview of what's inside of those so chapter one is all about well-being, And again, she wants to drill home the fact that the current model of success is driving people into the ground, if not into the grave. And the fact is that we, so many people are wearing, working hard, working 24 seven, always on their emails, like it's a badge of honor and it shouldn't be. Instead, she says that we need to put well-being right at the top of the agenda, not just as individuals because it's really important to ourselves, but actually when companies put well-being of their employees at the top, it means that their bottom line benefits. Well-being covers multiple areas, but one of them that she mentioned in the book is sleep. And actually, if you are interested more in the idea of sleep, she now has a book completely about that called The Sleep Revolution. The second chapter is about wisdom. And in this chapter, she talks about how we need to spend more time listening to our intuition. In order to listen to your intuition, we need to make time for space, for quietness and for stillness. And that's something that in today's world, you actually have to like schedule that time to happen, otherwise it doesn't. So she talks a bit about meditating, about mindfulness and about gratitude. In this chapter, she also talks about the idea of us needing to be living in the moment and that that is when we can really hear ourselves, where we can really be present and we can really get the most out of it so that we're living the success that we're actually achieving. Chapter three is about wonder. And for me, this chapter was a little bit woo woo. She talked about the idea of coincidences and that you need to be open about them. She also discussed the idea of how holidays didn't just used to be an escape and there needed to be a time for you to recoup, but it also used to be a moment for you to reconnect with your spiritual self and that that's something that a lot of people don't do anymore. Chapter four was about giving. And in this chapter, she talks about how volunteering is so important, about the idea that giving makes people so happy and then actually you get so much out of giving and therefore we need to make it part of our daily lives. And this doesn't have to be giving in the sense of like money when we think of charities in that traditional sense. She talks about actually just small acts of kindness and how building that into your life means not only are you having a positive effect on others, but you will receive goodness out of those acts too. Overall, I really enjoyed reading Thrive by Arianna Huffington. I thought she wrote a really good book with lots of ways for you to start to think about how to define success for yourself. Defining success for yourself is something that people talk about so much and I mention it a lot and it's part of the reason why I create Propel Her. But it can be easy to see how the current version of success isn't sustainable, but it's not always easy to work out what you want instead. I think the four different ideas she gives for the third metric, a really great way for you to start thinking what's important to you and what do you value and making your own version, like maybe you choose one or maybe you choose a mix of all four, like Ariana did. Towards the end of the book, Ariana wrote something that I felt perfectly sums up the intentions of this book, and that is that we must give ourselves permission to follow what makes us feel most alive. This book is all about you thriving. It's not about surviving. And it's about really understanding how to thrive, how to make a version of success that is fulfilling to you in every single way. So I really would encourage you to pick up a copy and give it a go. 
I really hope you have found my review of Thrive by Ariana Huffington insightful. And if you did, I would love it if you would give it a thumbs up and drop a comment below. And don't forget, we read this book as part of Propel Host Book Club, which is a book club for ambitious women who want to achieve more success in their life. There is a new book every single month and we meet online and in London. So if you would like the opportunity to read more books just like Thrive and discuss them with other amazing like-minded women, then check out the description box to find out how to join in. Bye for now.